Right now at 530, some changes are coming to more than 100 bus stops in northwest Jacksonville. And it's a big deal, particularly for people who are in the community who have to wait outside without any shade or those who have to wait in the dark. JTA is working to improve the experiences for riders in underserved areas, and you'll get a chance to weigh in on the changes that you'll want to see. Locations to get the upgrades haven't been decided yet, but we do know 17 key stops on Sutel Drive will get them. This map shows some of the stops on that road. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joins us now live. And Khalil, you got a preview of some of the upgrades that people can expect. I did, and some of those upgrades include stops getting some shelters as well as lights. Now, this one in Northwest Jacksonville doesn't have either, but it is a contender. And before that happens, JTA says 60 bus pads where the stops are located have to be brought up to ADA compliance. This is video of a bus stop in Northwest Jacksonville and how it looks like now. Just a sign telling you the bus route. But today, JTA CEO Nathaniel Ford announced 111 bus stops in this part of the city will be getting an upgrade. In addition to possibly getting a shelter or a lighting at the stop, some could get bike racks, electronic messaging systems and benches. There's also a chance they could get some artwork. And the images you're looking at right now aren't exactly what the upgrades could look like in the end. JTA says they won't be finalized for a while. And the reason why this project is coming to the area is to embrace a community that is underserved. I spoke with the woman who's been riding the bus in Jacksonville since birth, and she lives in the area getting the upgrades, and this is what she's hoping for. What's something you would like to see at your bus stop? Um, okay, so like the weather when it's when it's raining, um, we need better shelter because we're still getting wet. You know, if, if the, I mean, I know you can't do it like it's blowing rain and that type of thing, but maybe a little better for when we're sitting at the bus stop. When it comes to choosing which bus stop is going to get which upgrade, how is that chosen? Uh, several factors, and one of the main ones we looked at, too, is their proximity to schools. You heard uh, Mr. Ford talk about that and uh, hospital care and things of that nature. And JTA says another factor that's going to help them decide which stops get those upgrades are dependent upon the rider. So they're going to be holding some sessions where they want you to come out and tell them what your needs are. Now, those dates haven't been decided yet. And they also say that they do want people to know that, you know, they want some of those routes completed before the end of the year. Reporting live in Northwest Jacksonville, Cleo Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.